Hello, this is Dr. Ford Brewer with uh, PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, and cancer prevention. Why um, depend on a cure? Why not prevent it in the first place? Today we're in, on part two in a series on inflammation, cardiovascular inflammation testing. Uh, just to review the panel with you, this is an actual uh, panel test report. Um, we use Cleveland Heart Labs, and the tests that you see on here are myeloperoxidase, LPPLA2 activity, that's PLAC2, um, HSCRP, microalbumin creatinine ratio, and F2 isoprostane. Today we're going to talk about the second of the two most important ones, PLAC2 and, myelo and um, microalbumin uh, creatinine are the two most important. Myeloperoxidase is important, but there are problems with it, and we can talk about those in another video. LPPLA2 stands for lipoprotein-associated phospholipase A2. That's why we call it simply PLAC2. And we'll talk for, I'll talk for a minute um, about what it looks like and what it does and why it's so important. Um, <clears throat> so... I had I just pulled a a page from the Mayo Clinic Labs, um, off the internet, and we'll cover a few things on them. First of all, you see this graph. This graph basically shows uh, level of plaque two, and years, and then uh, cardiovascular events. And these were people. This was done in thousands of people, and. This was the uh, one thing that they looked at, and these were people that had not had a, a cardiovascular event already. So as you can see, it's a very good predictor of cardiovascular events and strokes. Um, what are the functions? Well, <clears throat> PLAC2 is involved in uh, necrotic core, and I'll show that in the next image. It's, it pulls uh, cells into the plaque. It's involved in multiple areas and multiple functions within an actual plaque. So let's talk about the plaque and what I'm talking about. So here is a, an LDL cell, um, I mean, um, some lip LDL small fat uh, particles. Phospho, or plaque 2 is involved in pulling those in. It's involved in oxidizing those. And remember, oxidized LDL is a specific uh, risk factor as well. It's involved in pulling in um, microsomes and T lymphocytes. Both of these are white cells, immune cells. They're floating around here in the uh, bloodstream. And then PLAC2 is involved in pulling them into the plaque. Let me just clarify something, by the way. This is a diagram of a plaque. This is the uh, muscle layer, and that's the endothelial or intima layer, the tennis court. These are LDL particles getting pulled into a plaque and are coming into a plaque, and these are white cells that are coming into a plaque. They're recognizing this plaque as something that needs to be cleaned up. So plaque 2 is also not only involved in attracting those white cells into the plaque, it also helps those white cells start uh, cr releasing enzymes and some of the enzymes that it releases forms that necrotic core. Now the necrotic core is especially dangerous. That's what we call hot plaque. It's that liquid plaque that you've seen on um, other vi videos. Remember <clears throat> This is an artery, this is the muscle layer, and this is the intima layer or uh, tennis court or endothelium. Most of this plaque is a stable, waxy consistency, except you've got a hot liquid layer uh, area here that is also called a necrotic core. Here's the, the larger uh, image of it. And again, plaque 2 is an enzyme, it's a protein that's involved in creating um, 
these plaques as well as trying to get rid of the plaque by liquefying it and forming what we call the necrotic core or that hot liquid area. And if, as you remember, the actual heart attack happens when this hot liquid area breaks through cracks in the intima and forms a clot, makes the blood form a clot.